from the condition in which God found them toward the reality that God has for them in order for us to become what God wants us to become, somebody has to feed us. Somebody has to nurture us on that path of evolutionary development. Everything in creation is evolving toward perfection. In the Quran, God says to Muhammad, surely we created you from sperm mixed with ovum. That's the first state of the human being. Sperm mixed with ovum. The Quran again says man once upon a time was not much to speak of. Every human being starts from a state that is he's not much to speak of. We all start from sperm. And in decent conversation, we don't talk about sperm. We may talk about it in a biological conversation, but we don't talk about sperm. And if sperm were on the seat next to you, I'm sure you would move. And you would say, what nasty person. But yet, that is your and my first state. So, what does that teach us? The lesson is that the human being who evolves starts from a state that you don't really want to keep talking about. White folk are very majestic today in their science and their technology, but they had a beginning that wasn't much to talk about. And today, white historians will gloss over their cave experience. Okay. We don't want to talk about that. But to the Caucasians who are present, what a wonderful thing that your ancestors lived in caves, but through the guidance of a prophet of God, you came out of the darkness of a cave existence to dot the city or the, the landscape of Europe with villages, cities, and towns, then grew from tribes into nations and from nations now to command the earth and now command space and the depth of the sea. What a wonderful thing you have accomplished from a early existence that wasn't much to speak of. We have a whole chapter in the Quran dedicated to that history. It's called Al-Kaf, the cave. It's the 18th chapter of the Quran, which is a very significant chapter. And it talks about how the man in the cave was befriended by the dog. And of course, you say today, the dog is man's best friend. I don't subscribe to that philosophy. But for you who have dogs as your best friend, Well, in this society, there's more concern over what happens to dogs, what happens to animals, 
What happens to a deprived kitten who was buried under a foot of earth? Then concern for the waste of human life that is taking place in America and throughout the world. Every human being who is truly human should have respect for the lower animals, the lower creatures, for God created all of them to serve our needs. But when we as human beings degenerate to the point where dogs and seals and whales and baboons and giraffes and elephants and monkeys are more in your thoughts, more in your preparation for salvation than the human community than those of you who think more of animals than humans have become animals yourselves.